Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel for today's video. This one was surprisingly very requested. I'm going to be doing a full face of Flower Beauty using a lot of their new makeup products in their line. So if you want to see the whole look, see the new products, see me put some good drugstore products in action, and then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. I had a haul and I talked about a very, very, very generous package that was gifted to me by Flower Beauty. I love Flower Beauty. I've been using them for years and so many of you guys requested me to do a follow-up video trying out the items that they sent me because their stuff looked really good. So I pulled out some things that I already had and then I pulled out some of the items that they sent me and we're just gonna play. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with primer. As you can see, my skin randomly just had a, a panic attack. And it has not looked this bad in months, so really put in these products to the test. It's not too close, you'll be fine. They sent over two primers. So the first one is the Flower CBD Chill Out Skin Serum. I mean, I don't know about these powers of CBD, but we're gonna try both of the primers that I got, starting off with this one. And I saw all of this was available at CVS now because I don't think you can get it at Ulta stores anymore, but my CVS has a pretty nice display of their stuff, which is a shame. I wonder why it didn't sell well at Ulta because their products, I think they're some of the best in the drugstore. I genuinely do. So that feels really, really nice. It's been in my cold room too, so it's actually very, very cooling, but I like how that feels. It left a little bit of a tacky base, and it does feel very moisturizing. So honestly, first impressions, I'm into this, but they also sent this Supernova Celestial Priming Whip, and this looks really cool. So, look at this. Um, oh, dang, I put too much, too much power, but look at that. It's one of these, it's really hard to just use your fingers. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to need this much. So, I'm just going to, I'm just putting it on because I really wanted to play with it. Ooh, it leaves like a really nice hydrating kind of finish, kind of glowy. I don't know if you can see that. Oh wow, it looks really nice and glowy on the skin. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, but I mean, close up. Wow, I know you guys probably didn't need to see me all close up and personal, but it really does add a glow, but it almost, it's like, emphasizes texture because it's almost a little bit too shimmery. So, mm, normally I prefer a base that's just more so hydrating, so I think I definitely prefer the Flower CBD Chill Out Serum, but this is cool. Okay, <laughs> this didn't get sent to me. I've just already had these for a while, so I'm using my Light Illusion Foundation. Super good. I really do enjoy their foundation. It's not the easiest to work out. Like, it takes a while to get it to spread out, but I feel like the finish is quite nice. It's definitely a good drugstore foundation. And by the way, I'm using my BK Beauty sponge, which I like, but I think it's too big. I prefer something a little bit smaller, but the actual sponge itself, the texture of it, I do really like. I think it's nice. I don't know how people do their eyebrows first. Like, how do you not mess up your eyebrows? I'll be getting foundation all over them. I'm just gonna have zits there, it's fine. But this is a really nice medium coverage, kind of glowy product. And especially with that base underneath, I really do have a glow. So if you're looking for a nice dewy foundation, I do enjoy the flower. Now, they did send over to me their Light Illusion Concealer, and I enjoy these concealers because I already have my own. I actually think I'm going to throw these away, the ones that I have, because I've had them for a couple years now, 
and keep the new ones since I will have some fresh ones. So I'm mixing two colors. This is light three to four and then the darker one is light medium. And you can see this has pretty decent coverage as well. I'm actually quite impressed. It's been a while since I've used their base products all together. I do like how my complexion's looking. Get rid of that. Beautiful. Okay, so here is how the complexion is looking so far. I'm going to use the satin finish powder. This I've had for a while as well. This is not my favorite powder, but it definitely it gets the job done. Uh, they had a matte one, and the matte one I really despised, so I threw that one away. But the satin one was worth keeping, but I definitely don't reach for it too often. So I'm just going to put that around the center of my face. I want to keep it away from the cheeks because I was sent some cream cheek products. And I actually didn't have a blush product from Flower, so I'm going to use this Milani Sun Kissed Bronzer in the shade... Oh, it's in the shade Sun Kissed. It's a silky matte bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed, just to add a little bit of definition in the face. I'll make my face look a little bit more dimensional. My hair... Why do I think it's okay to go on camera like this? <laughs> All right, so let's continue on. Well, I am actually going to do eyeshadow and then we will do blush because this is why I wanted to do this video. So these are their petal play quads and don't these look scrumptious. Oh my goodness, they look like a Charlotte Tilbury quad. I mean, you know that my eyes, of course, do go to the cooler toned one. This is Petal Play? No, just kidding. This is Black Iris. This is totally my vibe, but I'm looking at the blush colors that they sent and they're a bit brighter. So I actually think I'm going to alternate between these two. So I'm going to use Berry More and then I'm gonna use In Bloom. So here's some swatches of Berry Moore. They swatched really, really nice. Let me do the other one. And then here are swatches of In Bloom. This one definitely wasn't as creamy or pigmented, but I definitely think it's gonna be like a pretty accent kind of palette. So I'm going to just reapply a touch more concealer and we're gonna use that as our base today. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. We're going to use this as our crease color. Immediately, I am getting a lot of pigmentation from this color. But I will say it did kind of wash away a little bit pretty quickly, which is something that I do notice to happen a lot with drugstore shadows, is even though they might be pigmented, they don't last when you blend. But it did build up with the second layer. Now we're going to get a little bit more deep with it. And these are a little bit more on the powdery side. I don't know if you noticed, but this shade in particular isn't building up quite like I would like it to. It's working and it's building up depth. But I've said this a many a times on my channel. I am in fact a nice shadow palette snob. So it's hard to impress me. <laughs> uh, but it works. It's working. I made a huge mess. We're going to start off with this peachy copper shade and I'm going to pop this right in the middle of the eyelid. Now the shimmers in this palette I think are where it's at because this shimmer shade is beautiful. Literally stunning and they feel almost wet and creamy. I like that. And then we're going to go in with this shade right here. So this shade doesn't feel as creamy but it's really pretty. I do think this might benefit from a glitter glue. But on its own, still really stunning. I'm going to do just a little bit more depth so we can build this up. I'm going to run this along the outer half of the lower lash line. And then we're going to go in with this kind of champagne color. We're going to use that as a highlight. Okay, so from the two that I've tried, and obviously I'm not the most experienced with the shadows, I think the shimmers are really, really pretty. They still might require either a wet brush or a glitter glue to maybe get it up to its full foiledness, but I definitely think the shimmers are worth a try. The two mattes that I tried today, I wasn't particularly impressed with. I just... 
they kind of disappeared, you know, which is very typical fashion of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So it's not, you know, out of its price range. Normally products in this price range do act like that. But it's certainly, it's a workable product, and even if I say the mattes aren't amazing, I definitely think you're able to manipulate them enough to make them work, if that makes sense. So it's not an unworkable product. I'm going to do cheeks next. So they sent me this Color Drop Cheek Balm, which I already own, and I love these. These are amazing, especially in the summer if you don't use a lot of powder. But what's interesting that they sent me in this package were these Gel Crush Lip and Cheeks. So that's what I'm gonna use today just because I've never tried them. So we're gonna swatch them. So the first one that I'm opening, I'm super smart and did not take off any of the seals and stickers for these. So half of this video is literally just me trying to get this stuff open. I don't know if you can see, it's like a deodorant. So this one, what are you again? Strawberry Crush, and we ain't getting much from that. Let's try the other one. This is Raspberry Crush. Hold on, give me 20 minute intermission while I get this piece of plastic off. All right, wet raspberry crush, don't disappoint me. It has more color. Ooh, mmm, these smell good. The raspberry in particular. Should I? Should, should I? Let's do it. Mm, don't do that. Ooh, that's pretty though, but I think it's best applied with the sponge. Not really, I can't get it to show up, I'm kidding. Mm-hmm. Okay, so actually it applies best straight to the skin, but if you're using a picky foundation, it's not gonna like that. But it didn't seem to remove my foundation, I would say, but it's very, very sheer. Let me try the other color on the other cheek. So Raspberry Crush, as you can see, is more pigmented. What I don't like about doing this is it gets this thing kind of nasty. This is the kind of product where if I'm wearing a tinted moisturizer, I would like it. But as far as this full coverage, full face of makeup thing we have going on, I'm not a big fan of it. And if you have a skin tone that's deeper than mine, I just, I don't see this working. Like this looks nice, but then you blend it out and it disappears pretty quickly. I'm gonna have to test out wear time, but I just don't think this product is made for full makeup application or that's not how I would wear it. And you definitely only need one color. I prefer Raspberry Crush and it's really, really dewy, like really dewy. This is not a product that's for everybody. If you like really dewy makeup and you like tinted moisturizers, I think you will like this product, but that's about it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do liner and lashes and I do not have a highlighter and then I'll be back to finish with lips. They did also send me a Warrior Princess Mascara. I've tried this before, it's a decent mascara. I don't think it's anything super special so I'm not gonna open this. So that's why I'm gonna just go off and finish this and then I will meet you back. All right, so I just used some e.l.f. foaming lashes and then black liner and now I'm into the look. Um, so we're gonna go into setting spray next. So they sent over the Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. So let's do that really quickly and then we'll do lips. And if the lighting's changing, it's because it's getting dark out, so. Mmm, fine mist. I like the mist, it does have a scent. I think it did give me a little bit of illumination, but nothing too overpowering. I have five lip products that they so kindly sent in the package. I really wanna try the lipsticks because I love Flower Beauty's lipstick line. So they sent over two colors. Perfect Pout, which looks schmummy. And then we have, no, these are both Perfect Pout. Just kidding. So this other one is a buttercup. And then here's the first one that I showed you, which is blush rose. So buttercup, blush rose. I think blush rose is gonna go better for today's look. Said the wrong name. I think buttercup's gonna look better with this look. So these aren't super pigmented, but they're quite smooth. Okay, so they just kind of give a wash of color and they're a little bit glossy. I feel like I don't like these as much as the other lipsticks that I have from them. Let me put a little bit of blush rose along the outsides maybe. I guess we'll just mix them, never mind. 
pretty but not amazing. We also have these CBD chill out lip glosses. I'm gonna go with Zen, but in case you're curious, the other one they sent me was Let's Roll. Hmm, I'm struggling to get this sticker off. Ha ha ha, got it. All right. Not really much of a scent to it. Ooh, that has some color to it. That's more color than I expected. So none of these lip products are gonna be extremely long wearing. Like, I'm gonna have to take them off before I leave today because I'm gonna wear a mask. So these are not mask friendly, but they're very pretty. Okay, let me get myself together. Okay, so taking a step back, here is the final look. It's a really pretty pink look. Altogether, I'm very happy with how it came out. Uh, I mean, it's just a beautiful glowy complexion. As far as what I've tried today for the first time, I really did like this CBD skin serum. I just love a nice hydrating base and that's exactly what this gave me the supernova celestial whip a bit gimmicky i don't really like the way that it made my skin look but i do want to play with it some more because it did give a good glow so i want to test it out underneath different foundations to see if it really does make a difference as far as the eyeshadow quads i think they're good for the drugstore but they're not great like from what i can tell and i still have a few more to play with i didn't like the mattes that much but i will say the shimmers i think are really really pretty and there are ways that you can manipulate it to make it look a little bit more glam and exciting but I, I was able to create a pretty look so I don't want to steer you away from these but obviously they're not high-end quality but the shimmers feel a lot more high-end. I'm still on the fence with these gel cheeks. They are the most versatile product in my opinion and my cheeks feel a bit sticky and I'm not going to like that under a mask but I can see myself enjoying these this summer when I just throw on a little bit of my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and I want a little bit more color on my cheeks, I think I would grab for these. So I think these are good, but it's for a very specific person, if that makes sense. What else did I try out today? We have the lipsticks. I think the lipsticks are nice, something to just throw on. These are the kind of lipsticks that I would keep in my purse because they're quite cheap, but they add enough color to my lips. And then the gloss. Again, seems okay, nothing extraordinary, but they do have some pigment to them, and I did like how this manipulated the color that's already on my lips, but again, it's kind of just a gloss. And then the last brand new thing to me that I tried today was the Luminizing Setting Spray, and I did really, really like this. I feel like it did help make my complexion more glowy. It smelled really nice, and overall, the spray was really good. So these are probably the two items that I tried that I'm the most excited about, and even though I was like, about the eyeshadow palettes. I really love their color combos and those shimmers are really, really nice. So that is all I have for today's video. That was Mia trying out a bunch of new and old flower beauty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.